morning, Elizabeth. Morning, Alan. Oh, Miss Alice. <laughs> Hello, my little love. How's my little goddaughter today? Hey. It's my turn to look after her while Nick's at work. You don't mind, do you? No, no, of course not. Oh, you are getting to be a big girl, aren't you? She, she really is a big girl. <laughs> oh, she should be. It's her first birthday tomorrow. Oh, good Lord, yes. It's Valentine's Day. Well, I'd completely forgotten. Look, Elizabeth, look, um, just, just buy her a little, little something for me, would you? That's very kind of you, Alan. Thank you. Was there a particular reason you came across? Oh, oh yes, um, uh, stamps. Oh, I've got some here, I think. Eric's still away on business, is he? Yes. I wonder what it could be, this business. To do with the market, I suppose. Well, that, that's my point, really, Elizabeth. I mean, for market business, it's keeping you away an awfully long time, isn't it? It's really none of our concern what Eric does. So, uh, he didn't tell you what it was, then? It's... it's antiques, actually. That's what he said. Antiques. Oh, really? They're rather sordid, isn't it? What is? Well, the, the, the antique business. I mean, you know how it is. Some poor little old lady has to sell one of her family heirlooms. And along comes the antique dealer, offers her a mere pittance, and sells it for a handsome profit. Oh, no, not of course that Eric would do anything like that. Your stamps, Mr. Turner. If you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Yes, of course. I, I must be going. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Morning. Is that it? Is that all you've got to say? Huh? No apology? What for? For spoiling my night with Melanie last night. That's what for. Well, what do you want me to do? Spend the whole night in the wool pack? All I did was come home, Mark. How did I know you'd be grappling up so far? Look, it's not funny, Michael. Hoping she'd spend the night with you. So? What's it to you? No, it's none of my business. Yeah, you're dead right it's not. Of course. If Jack and Sarah were to find out you were having girls stay oh, the night. Are you? So you're going to drop me in it with Jack and Sarah now, are you? No, I'm not going to say hope. Oh. Yeah, well, you better not do. Cos Rachel or no Rachel, I'm going to throw you out myself. Oh, don't make me laugh. That's not a threat, mate. That's a promise. Like I said, mate, don't make me laugh. You sure you won't come for a walk? It's a lovely day. No. No, you go ahead. Come on, it'll do you well to go get a bit of fresh air in your lungs. Look, I just don't feel like going for a walk, OK? It's no good bottling things up like this, you know. I'm not bottling anything up. I'm perfectly happy. Oh, yeah. Look, we're supposed to be friends. We should be able to talk. There's nothing to talk about. You can't go on like this, Lynn. There's only one thing the matter with me at the moment, Archie, and that's you. So why don't you just leave me in peace? Now, who do you suppose that is, Alice? You stay there while Daddy goes to look. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Carol. I was just looking for Mr Turner, actually. Well, he's not here, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, there's somebody wanting him on the phone from the brewery. I thought he went back across the road. Oh, no, I don't think so. So, who are you then, Elizabeth? Well, I'm a bit busy, actually. What with work and looking after Alice. Oh, you're a bonny girl, aren't you? You're a little sweetheart. Hello. Does Eric like children at all? I imagine so. We haven't really talked about it. No, I don't suppose you have. Well, as I said, Carol, I am a bit busy. Do you know, I was reading this article in the paper about a market manager up in Cumbria. You know, the same sort of thing that Eric does. Oh, yes. Well, apparently, he absconded with thousands of pounds. Been fiddling them for years, they reckon. I see. Oh, aye. And he was married and all. Just took off without a word. Said he was going on some business trip. Never came back. I don't know, Carol. What are you all going to do when Eric comes back? You won't have anything to talk about. Well, I suppose I'd better be off then. I think Bye -bye. so. That poor man from the brewery must be wondering what's happened. What? The brewery representative. On the phone, you see? Oh, oh, yes. Yes, of course. I'll see you later then, Elizabeth. Whatever you do when you grow up, Alice, please, please don't ever be a barmaid. Hello? Hello, Michael. Oh, hi, Mum. Are you doing anything tonight? I don't think so, why? Oh, uh, I thought I'd go for a drink with my son. If he's still talking to me, that is. 
Yeah, of course I am. I'm sorry about last night. I just didn't fancy spending the evening in the pub. And I was tired, you know. Well, look, if you want to stay in, I could always bring a bottle of wine over. Oh, no, I want to go out. If only to prove that I'm not pining away waiting for a phone call from Eric Pollard. OK. We're all back at seven, then. Yeah, great. See you there, then. Where have you been? Oh, I've got the holiday village. I thought if I got up there early enough, I might catch them at it. Any luck? No, not yet. Although I'm pretty certain they've lifted some more stuff. I'm beginning to think I'm going to have to stay up there all night. Be a long, lonely night. Oh, I don't know. There's a double sleeping bag kicking around somewhere. Like I said, it'll be a long, lonely night. Oh, Chris phoned. He wants to see you down at the haulage yard. Lunchtime, if you can manage it. Well? Well, there's no problem. She's fine. They all are by the looks of her. And everyone organic. Makes you feel good, eh? Well, I can't see the difference myself. Well, they fetch more at market for a start off. Is that what it's all about then, this organic lark, getting better prices at market? Of course not. Organic farming's healthier. Yeah, until they all get a disease that wipes them all out because you won't use antibiotics. Save your breath, love. If you can't see the achievement in raising a flock of sheep without the use of artificial aids. No, I, I think there's an achievement in raising any good flock of sheep. It doesn't have to be organic or old fashioned. All farming will be like this one day, Michael. You'll be the old fashioned one. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking it. I just think it's a fad, that's all. Remind you of someone? Yeah, the voice of our brother Joe lives on. Uh, get me a whiskey, love. Just a little. Isn't it? It's freezing cold at that game farm. Pension lasting well, is it? Keep your voice down. Turn us around, didn't he? It's outside. You can't hear anything. But I tell you what, sir, you better be careful. He's not stupid, you know. <laughs> Don't you worry, love. Never got better than me yet, and he never will. Everything under control at the game farm, sir? Everything's fine, Mr Turner. I'm just having my dinner break. Yes, I'm aware of that. Ah, oh, well, uh, I'd better be off then. That's a bit early for going, isn't it? You're not complaining, are you? No, no, not at all. It's good to see you showing some enthusiasm. Uh, well, actually, I was going to stop and have another pint, but as a matter of fact, I'm skint. Oh, yeah? Price of beer these days. Disgraceful. Yes, well, don't let us delay you, Seth. Bye-bye. I'm thinking of going up Wolfpack later on for a drink. Do you fancy coming? For goodness sake, Archie, don't start again, please. Only well, asked if you fancied a drink. Look, I know it must be hard for you to show your face after what happened. Why but... don't you just mind your own business? Do you know what I think? I think you're becoming agoraphobic. Oh, don't be stupid. No, no, really, I do. I think that row with Sarah has made you scared to go out of doors. Oh, shut it, Archie. Well, let's see you do it, then. Do what? Go outside. You can't, can you? Never fear. Archie's here. Come on, we'll do it together. Archie! It's for your own good, trust me. Archie, stop it. It's one small step for Lynn Wiley, one giant step for mankind. Oh, don't be daft. All right, I might be being daft, but I'm not being anywhere near as daft as you are. The longer you leave it, the harder it's going to be. Now, come on. Let's get up Woolpack tonight. We'll have one drink and come straight back. You'd stay by me. I won't be able to shake me off. Just the one drink, then. Yeah. King George Dock, Hull. 8 a.m. Monday. Oh, no, no, it's, it's no problem. Yeah, thanks. Bye. You mean you're busy, then? Oh, you know, we're ticking over. Kim tells me things aren't going so well at the holiday village. Ah, uh, there's some sort of fiddle going on. There's nothing I can't handle. What do you want to see me about? Oh, yeah, I rang the estate agent today. Cathy and I have decided to take the mill off the market. It's marvellous, Chris. Well, we've been talking over for a couple of days now. So what's made you change your mind? When we realised what we were looking for was somewhere just like the mill. I mean, it was the problem in the first place. Yeah, Dad, don't start that. Again. I mean, any young couple would have given their eye teeth to that the star that you and Cathy had. Yeah. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Dad. But anyway, I'm delighted. It turned out all right in the end, eh? Hang on, Dad, you've got it all wrong. What? Look, the fact of the matter is, well... We still don't want the mill as a gift. We do want to live there, but only if we can buy it off you. <coughs> so what are you doing tonight, then? 
Coming over to my place again. What? Is Michael Feldman charging around? He might be going out. It's not I'm going out that worries me. It's the way he comes barging back in. It wasn't my fault. He might have told me you were staying with him. Well, I meant to. Yeah, slipped your mind. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's worse. My parents at my house or Michael Feldman at yours. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come round about seven o'clock? And if you're staying in, we can go for a drink at the wall park. Well. And if you really want to watch TV, we can go back later on after he's gone to bed. He goes to bed dead early. We'll have the place to ourselves. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe. We can get some tea. What do you fancy? Depends. What can you cook? Beans on toast. <laughs> so you'll come? Yeah, OK. I mean, how could I turn down beans on toast? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Dad. I know you just think we're crazy. And pig-headed. And stubborn. Selfish. Selfish because we want to buy the mill off you? Because you're too selfish to consider my feelings at all. All I did was to give you a present. Without thinking once about what we want because you wanted to feel good. You didn't care about us. You don't care about me. Look, I don't care what you do with the house. Give it to a passing tramp as far as I'm concerned. At least he'd appreciate it. Like I said, we'll buy it off you. Now, if you could just let me have the account details, I'll set up a standing order. In my personal files. Oh, look, I'm sorry, Dad. I just wish I could make you understand. Let's just drop the subject, shall we? I really don't want to hear any more about it. Right, let's make a move then. I thought he was never going to go. I'd have thought he'd have had better things to do. Hanging round, watching us. He's just acting under instructions from Rachel. When she's not here, it's up to him to be a pain in the neck. I bought a couple of tapes over. Shall I put them on? Yeah, sure. I'll just clear the table. Well, Turner might need some extra help in the wool pack next week, if you're interested. Might be. I'll have to see. I thought you were going out. I promised I'd fix this for Rachel. Come on, Melanie, we're going to the wool pack. Was supposed to be broke, Seth. I will, Mr. Turner. Only I make up pity on me. She gave me a couple of quid to tide me over. First time I've ever known your Meg give you money for beer. She's mellowed in her old age, Mr. Turner. She's a different woman since you go with that mental court stage. Yeah, all right, Seth. We won't go into that. Oh, Elizabeth, on your own tonight. I'm meeting Michael. What would you like, Elizabeth? Vodka and tonic, please. Did Mr. Pollard say when he'd be coming back? No, Carol, he didn't. He's looking at some antiques, I gather. Oh, really? And where do you gather that from? Well, it is common knowledge, Elizabeth. Mm, yes, I'm sure it is. Now. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it supposed to be a secret? Well, it doesn't surprise me. Most of Eric's business trips are. No, of course it's not a secret. Well, where's he gone, then? Somewhere nice. Well, didn't he bother to tell you that, either? Excuse me, please. Yeah. Did I strike a nerve? Right. How do I look? You look lovely. How do you feel? I feel great. Sure. We're only going to the wool pack, for heaven's sake. It's no big deal, is it? No, no. Is little Peter safely tucked up in bed? Yeah. Babysitter safely sconced in front of the TV with a box of chocolates? Yeah. Come on, then. What are we waiting for? Uh, hi, love. Won't be long. You all right? Oh, fine. Did you see Christopher? Oh, yes. I saw Christopher, all right. Oh, don't tell me they've changed their minds. No, they're going to stay on the mill, but they're going to buy it from me now. He's going to do a monthly standing order. Well, that's ridiculous. I give up. I really do. Do you want me to talk to him? No. In fact, I want to forget all about it. I've just come to tell you that I'm going to be late for dinner. Why? I'm going up to the Holy Park, see if I can spot anything. Well, hang on a minute, love, and I'll come with no, you. No, no, there's no need. Besides, I want to stay up there for a few hours. Oh, in that case, you can definitely wait for me. I'll make you a thermos and some sandwiches. No, And no, no arguments, OK? Whatever you say. You can look for that double sleeping bag while you're waiting. Oh, hi, Mum. Sorry I'm a bit late. That's all right, love. What would you like? Uh, a pint, please. 
thought you were staying at home. Well, what gave you that idea? You can be such a creep at times, Feldman. Come on, we're coming home. So have you had a postcard yet, then? From Eric? Yes, I did know who you meant, Carol. Oh, she's very jumpy tonight. I'm not surprised. Going out with Eric Paul, oh, it's enough to make anybody jumpy. What do you reckon he's up to then on this trip or is? Well, Mr. Turner says he's always going on these little trips. In fact, on the last one. Well, 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 look who's here. Good evening, Lynn. Archie. Hi. Um, gin and tonic, please, Carol. And an apple juice for Archie. Right, love, right away. How about you, Seth? Kind. Cold out, eh? Can't wait for spring to come. Not far off now. Cheers, love. Cheers, Seth. Listen. Do you hear that? What? I don't hear anything. I know. Great, isn't it? <laughs> come on, Sarah. I bet when you were young, you drove your parents mad playing Beatles records full blast. Oh, yes, but that was music, wasn't it? Have you heard some of the records Mark and Michael play? Well, some of the songs aren't that bad. I found myself whistling one the other day. Hmm, that's called brainwashing through repetition. Maybe so. <sighs> Perhaps we should try that with Michael. What? Well, if we keep on at him enough about organic farming, we might be able to brainwash him into accepting it. He's like a younger version of Joe, isn't he? He's certainly as stubborn as Joe. Yeah, well, we never could convince Joe. Might have a chance with Michael, though. Do you really think so? Well, he should be more open-minded. He's only young yet. <laughs> So, did he tell you where he was going, then? Why should he? Well, why not, unless he's up to something? Oh, don't you start, Michael. Well, you must admit, it's a bit funny. Look, all I want to do is have a quiet drink in my local pub with my son. Well, that's what we're doing, isn't it? Is it? First of all, I've got Mr Turner and Carol at me like the Spanish Inquisition, and now you're behaving like an old woman. What do you mean? I would have thought if anyone had an open mind, it would be you. Same again, please, Carol. I'll get them, Archie. No, you're all right, Seth. Let me get them. Don't talk daft. I'll get them. And the one for me and all of them. Where are you getting this money from, sir? Pool's win. Pool's win? First I've heard of it. How much you win? 30, 30 quid. quid. Yeah, 30 or 40 quid. It would have six dividend. I don't believe a word of this. Out with it. Where's the money coming from? That's my business. Well, you must have come from somewhere. I found it. Yeah, that's right. I see. Where, exactly? I don't remember. I'm sorry, Seth. Your behaviour is so suspicious that I have no alternative, I'm afraid. Hey? I shall ask Mrs Feldman to check the petty cash first thing tomorrow morning. Hey, hang on, fatty. Are you accusing Seth of stealing? Well, I, I don't want to, of course. Why are you, then? Well, I can't see what else it could be. The conclusions seem inescapable. Right. You all heard that, didn't you? First thing in morning, me and you are going to skip there. We'll get a good solicitor. And no, no, don't be ridiculous. That's Archie. slander. Defamation of character. I've got half a dozen witnesses to prove it. Now, 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 just a minute, Archie. All I was trying to say... Yeah, you were trying to say that Seth is a thief. I wasn't saying that. Exactly. Was I, Seth? Sounded like that to me, Mr Durham. I was just interested in the source of your newfound wealth. Yeah. Well, you want to be a bit more careful in future, don't you, fatty? I think you'd better get Seth a pint by way of an apology. Yes. Yes, 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 of course. Come here. Right, from now on, it's two pints a night till all this blows over. Two pints a night? Yeah, you better give me that money to look after and all. I don't know about that, Archie. It's for your own good. You can't be trusted, can you? <laughs> all right, then. Yeah, it's all sorted out, Cathy. I've set up a standing order. Well, he wasn't too happy. In fact, he was furious. Yeah, of course we're doing the right thing. I'm sure we are. Yeah. I love you too. Good night and uh, sleep well. I'm all right when I'm actually doing that. I've been like before. I'm always terrified. I'm sure one day I'm going to turn over the exam paper and not be able to understand a word of it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I had this dream once. I couldn't even pick up my pen. Rachel reckons it's best to forget them the night before. Go to the pictures or something. We could do that if you like. 
Might be going out with somebody else by then. Might not though. Hey. Hey, there's a good film on. Thought I might watch it. Babysitter safely on a bus. I don't suppose she's left any chocolates. Uh, if she has, it'll be the first time. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, Archie. Well, I didn't do anything. Tell the truth, I was terrified. Well, nobody noticed. I thought you were great. So were you. You really had Turner going. Yeah, he deserves it. You shouldn't accuse Seth of stealing. I don't know what he'd do without you. He's a mate. It's as simple as that. You're a good friend, Archie. Oh, Coco or tea? Tea, I think, Jack. Is it in the milking in the morning? Yeah, worse look. Oh, for heaven's sake. This is getting ridiculous. Listen to them. I think I prefer the music. They're going to wake Robert up if they go on like this, Jack. Well, I can't do anything. Mark's not my responsibility. Jack. All right. Go and have a word. Yeah, as it happens, she does. So what gives you the right to turn it off? Oh, shut up, mate. You're just dead selfish, you. That's Look, your problem. it's my house and I can listen to what I like. Look, I live here as well, you know. How could I forget? You knew Melanie would go home. That's the only reason you came back early. Oh, grow up. Oh, well, that's sweet, isn't it? Coming from a guy who's lived with his mum all his life. Now, hang on a minute. Don't oh. be hey, moody. Hey, hey, what's going on? I just cool it, both of you, right? Yeah, sorry, Jack. What's all this about? Nothing. Things just got a bit out of hand. Yeah, you can say that again. You could have woken Robert, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, just pack it in now, right? Right, OK. Yeah, sorry. I'm not drink, does it? No, thank you. I've had about as much as I can take tonight. Well, no. You'll be wanting to get up early tomorrow, I expect. Well, it's Valentine's Day. I suppose Eddie could be sending you a card, Mrs. Bowman. Yes, and if the postmark's not too good, you might be able to find out which part of the country he's in. That's enough, Alan. I'm warning you. I may be concerned for your welfare, Elizabeth. I don't want you to be hurt. Don't you ever stop. You make me sick. Oh, no, steady on. I just came in here for a quiet drink and all it's been is snide little remarks about Eric. Oh, that's not true, Elizabeth. Oh, he told me this might happen. I told him not to worry. But he was right, after all. You're just a bunch of mean, narrow-minded, pathetic little people. Oh.